Good day everyone. In this video I'll be showing you how I keep my growing colony of Aphenogaster longiceps, commonly known as funnel ants. This colony is around 19 months old and has a single queen that I collected in the spring of 2018. They started off in a foundling test tube setup but have worked their way up to this medium sized Oz ants white on nest. This was one of the first queens that I had ever collected. I found her and about a dozen of her sisters kicking their wings off under a street light early one evening. Aphenogaster are a colostral species. This means that the queen did not have to be fed until she had enclosed her first workers. I've noticed that they prefer their nest to be kept quite humid. At the first signs of any drying out, they tend to start shuffling all their brood into their water test tube. They currently have two outworlds. The first being this medium sized acrylic Oz Ants outworld. This outworld has a more naturalistic setup with sand, a plastic plant, and a few gum nuts thrown around. This outworld also contains the colony's main dump site and cemetery. The second outworld is an acrylic display case that was modified and then decorated in the style of a 1940s miniature lounge room. This tends to be where the colony gets most of their foods. It's also where the ants like to play with the cotton that they've collected from their test tube. Amongst the items in this outworld is this tiny piece of polished Baltic amber. It contains the bodies of two fossilised worker ants and it's around 4 million years old. Whenever I need to clean this room, I just open the lid and remove the furniture. Because Aphenogaster are not aggressive, reasonably slow moving, and are not stupidly small, you can easily collect them up and relocate them with a soft paintbrush. Plug up the hole, mop up the stragglers, and give the floor a quick vacuum. This colony will readily accept almost every food item I give them, however they are partial to cat food and peanut butter. I feed them twice a week, alternating between proteins and sugars, removing anything that has started to go bad or that they are no longer interested in. I'm currently keeping all my ant colonies in a heated room. 
It's now winter here, with temperatures dropping to around 4 to 7 degrees Celsius. In the wild, funnel ants are mostly seen above ground at dusk and dawn, but in this form of carrier setup, they are active throughout the day and night, and all year round. The rapid growth and expansion of this colony has been extremely satisfying to watch. So, if you're in Australia, a beginner, or a fan of Australian ants, I highly recommend Athena gastrolongiceps as a no-fuss, easy-to-keep species. If you yourself keep funnel ants, or you think there's something I missed, please leave it in the comments.